All right, we are back. Welcome back to Samari Bala in the showdown in Samari, a battle between regs and staff. And we've got ourselves a special little treat here before we get started in round two. We've got Karma Cut, the founder of this whole squad ops thing here, joining us with an interview. How's it going, Karma? Hello, it's going great. It's going great. You're pretty excited? How, how'd that last round go for you? I saw you get that little one tap at the beginning of it. Uh, I'm sure that was pretty exciting. Oh, it was definitely very, very exciting. Um, yeah, it was a good it was a good round. Fun to fun to watch, fun to hear. Um, yeah, no, this op is, is one of the funner ones we're doing um, as a staff versus reg event. And uh, especially since uh, one of our managers, this will be his last op. So we're, uh, we're having fun with it. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, it's been a really interesting kind of back and forth here with, you know, people starting out on one side and, you know, defending and then, you know, switching to the attack. So how did that feel for you? Was it kind of a unique thing? In uh, definitely a unique thing. Something that I think we'd only keep to uh, to staff and regs. I don't think we'd ever run an op publicly like this. Um, but it was, it's definitely a fun little thing to mess around with and adds another aspect to the operation. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's a fun op. It's a, it's a we're just having fun with it yeah cool so do you see possibly more things like this in the future between staff and regs do you think it's something we might run again um definitely for sure i think it's a great kind of fun way to to bring the whole squad ops in their uh regs and staff together and put on a small little fun show um it's definitely you know something that everyone here was looking forward to doing um so yeah definitely if if this is something that you know the community wants to continue in the future we we'll definitely do that that's awesome. I'm excited to see how it goes for the last round. Uh, somebody was asking, who is, whose last op is this as a manager? Who, who is that? Uh, Barton. This is Barton's last op. Uh, he won't be able to play for the foreseeable future. So uh, he'll still be around in the community and working on stuff, but this will be his last playable op for a long time. Uh, that's unfortunate. I, I like Barton. He's been a good guy. Definitely been getting them to know him over the past couple months here while I've been here. It's unfortunate, but... We wish him the best, obviously. He'll still be around. Just Yeah, he'll you know, still be around, just not be able to play. Not playing. Uh, that's unfortunate, but I'm sure he'll come back when he can. You know, Of course, of course. Well, Karma Cut, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We're going to let you get back to your guys, but I appreciate you stopping in for a quick interview. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you guys later. All right, good luck, man. Good way to get a shave. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can get Jack Reynolds in here. I think, think we can get a little idea of what was going on last round from his side. Let's see if we can get him in here. We got him. We're working on it. All right. We've got also Jack Reynolds. The guy who designed this whole lot back in with us for another little interview. What do you think, Jack? How did how to play out the first round? How do you feel about it so far? It went just as planned. Staff got the L and the regs won. <laughs> Staff had a, a pretty good defense there at the beginning. It was interesting to see. Uh, were you nervous at all? Did you did you think the regs weren't going to pull it out? So my mindset was we started over command comms. We started taking ground quickly, and we had them boxed in. And then I was like, all right, this is fine. But then they were in that last little room, and we just kept dying. And that's what really like killed us at the end, I think. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was really rough trying to get that push on. I know... Crazy Russian was holding one door and Hamlet holding another and getting that push through was really difficult, but you guys managed to do it. You freed up Hyper, you got him back through the extraction and things changed from there. There was a really good ambush set up on that bridge. That was interesting to see. Was that kind of a plan from the beginning? Yeah, the, the plan from the beginning, the way we had it was was squad one and three, the, the full squad sized elements. We're going to flank all the way around and try and retrieve Hyper as unnoticed as possible, while the smaller squads would engage from the, the west side, which was closest to our main. And then we'd also have a sniper team in the minaret try and pick them off as quick as possible. And then... From that point when we got the hostage, we would have Silas's squad, the QRF, go over to that bridge and set an ambush, and it went perfectly there, I think. Yeah, the ambush was really well done. That took a lot of people out while they were trying to push in. I think that, honestly, they weren't expecting that when they pushed in. They thought you guys would just hold them at the compound, but really smart to leave a little ambush point out there. I like the organization, and I like to see the regs doing well, putting their stuff together. I mean, you know, these guys... 
we we talk back and forth and we chatter a little bit but you know ultimately everybody's a part of the squad ops community and everybody who's playing in this has been here for quite a long time so it's good to see everyone coming together for an event like this having a good time putting on some good strategy and i think we're putting on a good show would you agree jack yeah man i think it's going awesome so far i'm super excited for round two you know we actually had the opportunity of talking to karma cut here just a moment ago and he said that he was really happy with how this whole thing was going and he was hoping in the future to run more of these so from the perspective of somebody who's kind of ideas in that in that head do you think that uh there's going to be a couple of other things in the future more reg staff events do you have anything in your head ideas absolutely man big things are coming now big things are coming stay tuned everybody awesome very cool well have yourself a good time good luck in the second round jack hopefully you do well thank you yeah the hostage just showed up time to strap an ied to his back <laughs> all right man enjoy yourself yeah congrats on there goes jack reynolds All right, having a little bit of issue with uh, internet on my side. That's unfortunate, but doing my best. Doing my best. So, Agalog, what's the setup looking like over there? Oh, yeah. Well, I haven't gotten a super good look at it yet, but it does seem like they're split into multiple different groups here. This certainly isn't a final setup, but... I wouldn't be surprised if they split out a little bit, just like they did last round. They do have the numbers advantage, so it would uh, would be in their favor to split out a bit, try to cover as much of the map as possible. But uh, until later on, I won't know the exact setup where everybody is. All right, so it looks like they're still working on it anyway. Oh, absolutely. You know, the U.S. is kind of planning out their assault here. I'm interested to see how a U.S. assault goes from an underpowered team. You know, the, the U.S. here having not as many guys. They have only have 18 on their team versus the 34 on the regs. So we'll see how that goes for them. Taking a look at the hostage, it seems they're... Trying to stack him into a tight corner there. Maybe they're just intimidating him right now. <laughs> Might just be yelling at him, you know, telling him to, to do bad things. Yeah, I'm not going to get too close. I don't want to scare anybody. <laughs> You're worried about what they're saying to him? Oh, absolutely. Hey, get away. Get away from him. Just run around. Run around. Just get away. Get away. What is the problem? Wow. wow. They do actually have an IED strapped to his head. Oh, no. I don't know if that's okay or not. Jack is honest to a fault. I I didn't think that that was actually going to happen, but they just strapped an IED to his head. Try to get a closer look there. Wow. Why did they do that? <laughs> It's going to lead, certainly going to be an interesting round. Guys, don't make him think I, I don't know how to handle that. I'm really not sure how to handle that, that they have strapped an IED to their hostage's head. I that suppose terrifying. they're taking the realistic standpoint for this round. This is I a, mean, yeah. this is going to be intriguing. Do not call your mom. <laughs> oh, shit, that wow, awesome? that's amazing. Stick around for round two, folks. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's going to be a blast. Actually, while we have a little bit of time, we can go over what... Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. While we have a little bit of time, <laughs> we're going to go over what's going on with this operation while the U.S. apparently has some unfortunate accidents. <laughs> Oh, man. Everybody's out here having a good time. Anyway, so the point of this operation is it's a staff versus regular event. 
the staff are going to be playing on the U.S. side <laughs> this time. <laughs> the regs are going to be playing on oh, INS, and they have taken Hyper Evo game. hostage, what did they, and they uh, are holding oh, him, shit. the INS are holding him in the building. The INS assets are going to get two ARs, one scout, one LAT, and one medic per squad. For the U.S., they get two ARs, one GL, one lat, and one medic per squad, and then they also get one marksman in the platoon, so they get one optic, which is usually something a little different. So what's going to happen, the U.S. will push to the location where the hostage is, and once they get to that location, they will try to extract the hostage. If they manage to extract that hostage, they're going to pull him out to a tertiary location for an exfil, and then they will have to hold there. Now, the thing for that is the U.S., once they get their hostage to the exfil location, the INS then get to respawn and come in and try to fight back. But we'll see if that happens or if everything goes terribly and the U.S. die before they even push in. But ultimately, this is just a nice little fun event that we were trying to set up. And I, I think everybody seems to be having a good time. Do you feel the same? Absolutely. Speaking of U.S. dying early, it seems there was a breakdown in negotiations. Hyper <laughs> is already dead. Um. Oh my! The the server <laughs> just got. Are you kidding? They turned the speed up to a thousand. Yeah, yeah. It seems like they decided that the IED on his head was not a acceptable. Oh. Yeah. Not an That's, acceptable uh, uh, term. That's actually them speeding up the server for a moment so that Hyper Evo can run back there. Oh. <laughs> so that's why we were kind of jumping around the map there for a moment. I apologize. Hyper is getting back to the hostage location. They decided that the IED on the head was uh, not okay. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, they tried. But there was an effort made. He's still just running back. Getting back to his hostage keeper's location. They're speeding up the server just a little bit in order to run it back a little faster. So you'll see some weird jumping from here and there. I must speak on behalf of the regulars. They uh, they do seem very upset. I believe this is arbitrary. Frankly, I would have loved to see that sort of entertainment. <laughs> I don't know. That seems a little dirty to be able to blow them up once they push it. Because you know what they do. They read spawn immediately and then blow it. Oh, that's a little dirty. <laughs> I don't know. I, I trust these guys. I trust them. They would have waited until 50 minutes had gone by and that would have simply been a tool for execution. <laughs> yeah, a we just strapped an ID. <laughs> Just strapped an IED. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Well, they're getting themselves set back up. Getting all themselves set back up, and we will be getting in there again and see how it goes from there. We're going to be getting live here shortly, I would imagine. Everybody's kind of getting themselves arranged, and this is just a, a fun little event for everybody to have a good time. Hopefully everybody is going to participate has a good time we like to see that moving the striker out of the way currently here at main actually while we've got a little bit of time we can go over the command and squad lead structure so command for the staff side is barton and his capable squad leads are jaffe and dr kamikaze so who do you got over on the other side agalock well our commander for the insurgents is truth realm his squad leads, of course, Benbot, Big Yes, Silas, and Jack Reynolds, of course. I'm, uh, I'm feeling, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit of Shadow Command coming from Jack, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, it is his, it is his event, so he probably has an idea of what he he thinks should be going on. It's his kind of, you know, we're all working to set it up, but it was his idea. Absolutely. Now I'm uh, I'm interested to see how the staff overcome their their disadvantages here, especially with INS being allowed to respawn. 
Seems yeah, as they're going to have to put a ver together a very tight operation to uh, get this done. It looks like Barton is setting himself up here. He's he's having a tough time getting on top of the sandbags. I wonder if they're going to do a, a brief here. I think they are. Yeah, they are. They're going to do a brief. So let's listen in on this. Get everybody set up. Let's make oh. this pretty. This is Barton's last round of his last op. I want a beautiful Ever. one. Anything if he less tries than to a join ops ever line, again, we're gonna kick him. You all. Yep. All right. So here's the plan. Muff is going to take his squad and his marksman and head to school. The marksman is going to go into the exterior school balcony and try to get eyes on the compound and start reporting intel back. Jaffe's squad is going to head to the direct north part of the of the compound to try and that's the entrance that they're going to breach from is that direct north side. One sec. All right, so He's hypers in that center. Berries. So basically, <laughs> uh, so Jaffa Squad's going to breach from that direct north and handle those containers. So that's going to be a lot of uh, close quarters combat. The... Oh, God, they got to hurry up. So they're going to push in there and try to get the hyper. Muff squad, when we go to breach, is going to be broken into two, depending on the contact in the pit. Uh, if there's no contact in that pit, in the on the fob mark there, contact. there's no contact here. Muff squad is going to breach from here. And there. They're going to go cross them in, and then basically the goal is to penetrate, grab hyper, and get the fuck out. So most of them... Most of them are probably going to be on this bankment on that mark. They're going to be there and probably in the containers where Jaffe's breaching in. So Jaffe's breach, hopefully, is going to be trying to pull a lot of that attention there while Muff's kind of sweeping clear. It's going to be a lot of open areas, so this can be really tough. But because of that, just, just nades. Uh, Muff, Jaffe, I would stack your guys up on those exterior walls, lob a bunch of nades over on my go. Actually, yeah, fuck it, we'll do that. So we'll stack up on the outside, then I'll give a go, and then we'll all lob nades over, and then breach at that mark. Um, if there's contact in that southern pit, on the most, uh, southernmost uh, green fob marker, then Muff, we're going to see if we can't get you in breaching that second squad, that uh, eastern squad, somewhere down there to push that up and out. That's pretty much the plan in a nutshell. They have twice as many so the, people that, as we do. Kind of line, Jack, so there's going to be a Make fuck sure ton of eyes on that whole way the over there. Uh, oh shit, they're really close to that respawn too. Eh, but we got three minutes. All right. Um, uh, um, okay. Yo. We, instead of falling back, we could just post up an ammo and get him in the vehicles. <laughs> If we get the hostage? Yeah. Post up inside training camp. Yeah. Or or like on the south <laughs> MS. And then as they leave main, all stacked in the vehicle. Just shred them. I'm pretty sure we won't have the numbers to just shred them. Considering okay. there's still twice <laughs> as many as us. I don't know. Oh, we vehicles. Well, no, like all going to, to die within 30 seconds of entering Mop. that compound. We're yeah, cross we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't even think... Carm, I didn't even think of an extract plan because I don't think I need one. <laughs> okay, Roger. We'll, we'll deal with that if that so happens. To but, be honest, uh, I'm yeah. surprised you thought of a plan for breaching training camp because I really don't think we're going to make it there. Yeah, what I was going to go into is we'll be because fun. of the sheer numbers, I'm expecting there to be a lot of contact just on the outskirts. I mean, this riverbank, like along here. Hyper is moved. That's gonna that's gonna be like filled with people like along those walls watching that way and probably more scouts in com or like more people in commons. So once Muff gets that uh, contract report in school, once he gets there and tries to get eyes, Jaffe actually send your squad way to the north on the snake edge of the map. So Jaffe, yeah. I'll be with your squad and we'll head to that direct north and we'll follow the edge of the map and stack up and get ready on that side and just drop drop in. So we'll leave uh, and Muff squad will die basically. Well, either either Muff Squad is gonna We're die gonna right fine. away. We're gonna be just fine. <laughs> just fine. Or they're gonna or they're gonna die when they get in there. I mean, yeah. 
I've enabled so, yeah, that's pretty much the fucking plan. So we so. can just put a fob outside, and we can just keep rearming with grenades. Yes. We're gonna need a logic. <laughs> no. <laughs> Live in one mic. No, you just keep placing new fobs. One mic on. We could still snipe Hyper. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Yeah, 50 seconds till our. Better hold by the way. All right, we are back, guys. You got to listen in on that little bit of a rambling briefing bum from Barton. <laughs> kind of <laughs> ideas and craziness. Uh, Zega, you asking uh, if this is a, a joke that it's Barton's last stop? No, no, it's not a joke. Uh, Barton has some RL stuff he's going to have coming up. He's going to be still around the community, still working on stuff. He's just not going to be able to play in ops for a while. So that's sad, but, you know, we're still going to have him around. It, it is his last stop, totally though, which is walls. unfortunate. It's a good dude. I like me some Barton. Like all the members, I like all the staff, I like all the regs. Barton's one of those guys that he's always working his butt off for this community. So it's unfortunate that he won't be able to be in the ops for a while, but he will still be around. It's not like we're losing him. <laughs> Just losing him in ops, you know, which is unfortunate. He's a good gun. I like that guy. <laughs> oh, so Agalock over on the other side, are they planning on doing a briefing? Doesn't seem like it. I don't believe so. It seems uh, Truth Rome had a good, uh, good conversation with all his trusted squad leads, and, and he expects them to discipline their men accordingly, put them where they need to go, and <laughs> shut down the staff advantage really quickly. Where am I going to put this? All right. So it looks like they are live. Everybody's getting ready and moving out. We should see a live call shortly. There it is. Live! -y. <laughs> Barton's very excited. Well, you know, for him, this is one of the last instances he's going to get to play in a one life event. So I can imagine he's pretty excited. Everybody's starting to move out from US Maine, getting ready to push in. Yeah, asking if, saying uh, he's still here in spirit. He's still going to be around in person, too. You'll see him around Discord, I'm sure. But. We're just losing them in ops for a little bit. So here's the U.S. force. They seem to be splitting off into two parts, and then they're going to be pushing in. What's the INS defense looking like over there, Aglock? Well, the INS is spreading out all over their quadrant, including sending a four-man fire team pretty far to the northwest. Carpy, Kahuna, Eliander, and Big Yes. Down on the east, southeast. We've got another squad moving out there. behind us, that's fine as long as we know about it. Looks like they're spreading out nice and Looks wide. Looks like, uh, oh yeah, they're, they're very well spread out. Covering the northwest, the southeast, while the majority of their forces are still located in the main compound with Hyper. They kind of just have Hi Hyper stuck in that container, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be very difficult to take. Um, last, last round, it uh, looked like the regulars used some grenades to take that compound. That did work, but this is going to be much more difficult. Multiple containers all around. There's not a lot of blind spots or corners that the staff are going to be able to exploit. I got to give it to the regulars. This is very smart. They did a very good job setting this up. Shattered Ritual, unfortunately, losing connection. They do drop a rally for him, and they're hoping that they will not hit contact before he gets back in. Zigo asking, who made this op? Jack Reynolds, one of our regulars and staff trainees, uh, actually is the one who put this op together. It is his brainchild and his baby. We had him in here for interviews at the start and in between rounds. But, yeah, it's his baby. He did a good Jack's job an awesome dude to hang out with. Yeah, if you, if you see Jack around the Discord or anywhere around the community, make sure you, you give him a hello. And congrats for all the good stuff he's gotten done here. Yeah, he's always around. He's a good guy. I like him. So you're seeing Muff Bandit on your screen. Just shoving him across here. It's going to be... He's moving on the south MSR there. It's just... It's going to be a while before everybody pushes in. Uh, here we go. Shadow Ritual reconnects. They haven't taken contact yet, so hopefully he'll be able to spawn in before that happens. There's some guys holding up on the north side as well that they might run into. Creeping. Leading the way. Big yes, Eliander, Carpy, and Kahuna. You said about them earlier. Up here on this north side. 
That's going to be some early contact there. Creeping up there, leading his squad up there on the right side of my screen. Pushing around farther to the west there, northwest. All right. So you see creeping in his squad, pushing around here. Uh, Zigo at, saying, oh, this is Blank Spaces. Oh, what's up, Blank Spaces? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, I was wondering who this was because I didn't recognize the name, but now that I see it's Blank Spaces. How's it going, man? Good to see you, bud. All right, Big we just yes, heard Creeping call out. Oh, Creeping goes down. He took put shots back in on Big Yes. Neural put some shots in on him as well, and they're moving now. Grenade goes out. Doesn't Big quite yes hit. Patching. Don't know if he's going to last it much longer. Yeah, he's hurt. They're shooting at you from an elevated angle. Man, Big Yes pulling back through that field, having a rough time. More shots coming out from Kirkley and his crew. Looks like they get in a nice line formation here. Expert, Shadowed Ritual, Barton, Karma Cut, Kirkley, Jaffe, all forming up a line. And they are laying in some fire. We spawned at main and hold there. Gotcha. Uh, that area we moved up through Truth, that's right. Eliander, the uh, last survivor in the last round, putting out some shots. Yeah, it was good to see him. He he did a good job, and I like seeing those kind of those kind of efforts pay off. Jaffe, Nacho, and Pugachev pushing up on the northern flank here. They're trying to use this ditch as cover and see if they can get some decent shots in. They're gonna run into Big Yes if they keep pushing up here. It's gonna take them a little bit to get around that corner. Big Yes just holding in that bush, close to it. He's moving back. Oh, big yes running down. We'll see if Jaffe gets eyes on him. He does see him. He taps him. Oh. Big yes goes down. Good shots from Jaffe. You may have noticed Eliander, Carpe, and Kahuna are held up in the same compound that the staff were trying to hold from the regs last <laughs> Kind of a bit of irony right there. That's just rude. That's just rude. <laughs> Expert pushing up on the uh, the wall here. He's just kind of holding, keeping eyes out. And they're trying to approach from the north and take out as many contacts as they can while they push, while their southern guys kind of push in from the south. So ultimately they're going to be trying to do this assault from two sides. The staff on this one, the staff on this one are heavily outnumbered this time around and they're on a attacking force. A lat just comes in at Pugachev. He's all right, though. He puts a shot back in on Eliander. Just hanging out. The INS started a chosen hostage location. Are they allowed to be at... No, they are not. Uh, they're allowed to spread guys out, though. You know, They can only keep the hostage at one location, but they can spread guys out as if they want. That's not a problem. Jaffe pushing up on this wall. They're getting real close. Nacho as well, and Pugachev. Do you guys have nades? Yeah, they're really Asking about nades. They're going to try to breach this compound. He puts it in. Great by Eliander. It's not going to kill Eliander, though, through that wall. It does manage to wound Carpy, though. And Carpy pulls back. Jaffe yeah. holding this corner. Back change. Looks like he's getting ready. They might try to push in. All right, Barton makes the call. Do not breach that compound. That's too much risk. We are going past it. They are saying that they are not going to breach it. They're moving around. That's smart. Certainly did an excellent job slowing them down, though. Yep, that's what they were trying to do, and uh, they were just trying to slow everybody down. Oh, Satan, saying wish you was here. Love from Hong Kong, man. Love you too, buddy. Good to see you in chat, though. Nice to see you in chat. Hope you're having a good time over there. Enjoy your trip.
Yeah, so it looks like everybody, Karma Cut, X-Bit, Shadowed Ritual, Kirkley, they're all just moving past. You can see X-Bit on your screen going prone by this wall. It's kind of holding out. They're all going to move past this compound. They're going to keep eyes on it. They're going to keep eyes on it as they push past, but they don't want to actually push into it. They know that that would be a big risk to get the gonna... guys into that compound. You lose at least one. Absolutely. But it's going to be interesting what these three guys manage to do getting behind the lines. Lots of open fields at any point that they want to pop out of that compound and chase them down. It's going to be you know very hard for them to recover. Barton or defend themselves. Very, very far up. It's kind of by himself up here. He puts a shot. He dooms Silas. That was a one tap from this range. Look at that shot. Just bap. <laughs> oh man, that was a great shot. That was such a good shot. Love to see it. Good job from him. Oh, Turtle Guy puts out a lat, takes down Neural and Jaffe. That's two down on this push. Oh, no. And, you know, the U.S. only get one life on this one. Pugachev and Barton both getting injured as well, bleeding, but they get themselves patched up. Unfortunate. That was, whew, that was a good little lat shot managed to take out, too. Nacho and Pugachev return fire, take down one. And they've got a squad pushing on their north side. Big old squad. We'll see if they come in. Got some contact going on on the south there, too. Yeah, it looks like Jack and Mari Eats kids managed to get behind Digit. Put out some shots and scared them. Definitely working their advantages. All these open fields. Very easy to get behind the staff there. There's a fucking push. That's good to see, though. See Crazy Rush and Hamlet moving along the walls of the compound. They're getting close. Grenade, grenade, grenade. You know, Digit, their marksman, I haven't seen where he's at yet. Digit, he's down near the riverbed. I see him. Is he? Near, yeah, uh, he is. Jack, he's hurt Jack, a little. Got some shots on him. Oh, part like Ninja Muffin. Turtle gets dropped by Karma Cut. Karma Cut goes down and return, though. Oh. Karma Cut getting some revenge on part time for that pistol kill last round. <laughs> Dr. Kamikaze moving up. Kahuna, Carpy, and Eliander still held up in that compound that they decided not to push through. And it looks like eventually they might try to shove out, but for now, they're just kind of content to stay up there. Pugachev pushes in. Crazy rushing, getting real close up there on that wall. Oh, man, he's real close on this wall. He's just under Cool Breeze. A grenade comes out, takes him down. One tap man goes down to another grenade. Hammered Hebrew just holding down. Muff Bandit on the south as well. And it looks like this southern squad. Oh, Hammered Hebrew gets taken out. Looks like the southern squad is mostly eliminated as Muff Bandit goes down. X bit. Seems so. Uh, just the only one left. Oh, we'll Kirkley he... takes down Little Jen as he pushes around a corner. A grenade comes out again. Hey. Takes down Kirkley and X bit. Unfortunate. Certainly some heavy losses that the staff are taking right now. For sure, it's it's so tough to push in with an underwhelming or an underpowered force like this, and they picked a great location to defend. Pugachev goes down. Nacho and Shadowed Ritual still pushing on this corner. Mm, there's a guy in there. There's a guy in Shadowed there. Ritual getting ready to toss a grenade over the wall. He puts it in. Oh, it just bounced over the wall from Moose. It was so close to being perfect. Oh, no. Oh, Nacho gets down by Merrick 362. Shadowed Ritual comes up. Moose right beside him. And he downs Moose as he tries to peek the corner. Shadowed Ritual peeks the corner back at Merrick. And he downs Merrick 362. Good shots from Shadowed Ritual. 
So it looks like the southern force is pretty much taken out. On the north, we've got Dr. Kamikaze, Shattered Ritual, and Barton. Is Digit still up down there on the south or no? No, I've not. I think Digit moved north and he was taken out at some point. Yeah. Barton's moving pretty far to the east. He uh, he's letting he doesn't know it, but he's letting command and a couple other regs get up behind him. Look at him here. He's just hanging out in this field. Barton. Oh man. Oh, Kahuna, Eleander, and Carpy are moving in from the north now. They're getting behind Shadowed and. Looks like it's crispy. And a couple other guys going down. Barton making this push. Barton gets into a field to mine just to his south, but I don't know that he knows it. It's hard to see through these weeds. Sabari just to his north as well. Barton is on this crazy little Mission Impossible thing here. Da, 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 da. <laughs> He's yelling out, Hyper, can you hear me yet? Can you hear me yet? Yeah, they're getting in local contact range. Where's the AT music when you need it? <laughs> Shadowed Ritual takes down Fun Guy 5 on the north. Kahuna's close, so he's just around the corner. This is gonna... He actually he hit him once. He's bleeding. Kahuna's bleeding. Or not bleeding. No, it's yeah, not Kahuna. Carpy bleeding. Carpy's bleeding. Yeah. Directly in front of me. Like, he's right in front of me. So, Hyper is uh, calling out the, the where again. the contact is. Oh, Kahuna lobs a nade and shadows. Misses, but Eleander and Carpy hit him <laughs> as he runs from it. So that's just uh, Barton and DK now. Barton says, there's an insurgent three feet in front of me. He can't see me. It's the mind literally three feet in front of him. And he can't open up. Barton says, I need to shoot him, but I don't want to make noise. I love it. <laughs> Where's those uh, melee shovels when you need them? Right? DK pushing across on the north there. Dr. Kamikaze, the mine might have a shot on him. No, you can't see him just yet. Oh my God, he's running he's just past mine. Barton. I know, I oh. running out there. Well, and Barton's they prayers leave. were answered. He was just saying, just leave. Just leave, man. <laughs> okay. So he's like standing in front of you. Do you know if any, there's any other So contact? Barton just 20 meters away from Hyper right now. And only Ben bought between them. He's peeking outside right now. He's looking your way, Barton. Okay, now he's going back in. Alright, he's back in front of me. So Hyper calling out those contacts right, saying, I got, on I got one head. guy right in front of me. He's He's literally just in front of me. I'm running, I'm running. Barton makes the push. Yep, 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 get here. Oh, Barton goes down as he tries to peek in. That was server error 404. DK, now the only one up. There's somebody at, there was somebody at the shipping container. Unless that was a hot... He's looking east. All right, he's moving from left. He's moving west. DK just on the other side of the wall. From server air. I was I got nervous for a second that I was shooting at the hostage. Are they cracking the wall at nine? This yeah. is the guy it was dead. for okay. them. Dr. Kamikaze, the only one left on the U.S. side. Dr. Kamikaze, not too far from Lance Aubrey. He takes down Lance Aubrey. Does he have anybody behind him? Yes, he does. Han Solo putting in shots on Dr. Kamikaze. Hearing some shots coming in towards him. He's just trying to make his push as hard as he can, but still being caught. Oh, and he gets tapped from down the road. That is it. I think that's going to be GG. What? Oh, Hyper, you're still gonna die. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm confused. I could kill it. Kill it. Weapons. <laughs> oh no! Shots coming in, and Hyper goes down. That's it. Ben bought. He's it. They went out. He can shoot Hyper. <laughs> and then he got shot in the back.
Oh, beautiful, that's the end of it. Beautiful collection of fireworks to end. <laughs> oh, man. Great job to everybody involved. I really appreciate everyone coming out and enjoying themselves tonight in this fun little regverse staff event that was set up. I want to say thank you to everybody who was involved in planning this. I want to say a big thanks to Jack Reynolds for setting this up. GG, boy. Big thanks to all of our staff, all of our regulars, all of our community members. Thanks to Barton for commanding, Jaffe and Dr. Kamikaze as well. On the other side, Truth Realm, Immune Style, Eliander, Benbot, a couple other guys, Server Air 404. Appreciate everybody that was involved in setting this up and appreciate everybody here watching. So thank you guys. And we are going to wrap it up here, actually. That's going to be the end of Squad Ups for tonight. But don't forget, tomorrow, we've got another one. So come back here, same bat time, same bat channel. And we're going to be doing an actual operation tomorrow night, Silent Vigil. One of our very few night operations. So it's going to be a treat. I hope you guys will tune in and check it out. But for myself, CMYK Matter, and my buddy here, Agalock. Say goodbye, man. Bye, ball. Yeah. Everybody. Sorry. <laughs> also, choking on my tongue. <laughs> it's all good, man. Also, big thanks to my guy behind the camera. Didn't mention him yet, but my boy Penn operating all the behind the scenes stuff. Huge thanks to Penn. Always putting in a lot of work, and we appreciate it more than we can ever say. So thank you to him and thank you to everybody involved. And for everybody at Squad Ops, have a good night. <laughs>